welcome to Five Nights at Freddy's. This game is basically the game that propelled me into the indie horror genre. Now I play a lot of indie horror thanks to this game. So this is actually a very special game to me and I decided I'm going to play it on the channel even though I'm terrified because I'm a chicken. Anyway, I guess I must. Now that I've started, I can't go back. Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. Family Pizzeria looking for night for a security guard to work the night shift. 12 a.m. to 6 a.m. Oh. Come on, man. I can't, I can't. Come on. I will let you guys listen to Phone Guy. Because everybody loves him. Hooray. Okay. Uh, let's see. First, there's an introductory reading from the company. I don't care. That's supposed to read. Uh, it's kind of Is that Bert thing. Simpson right there? Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizza. He looks a lot like Bert Simpson or something. A magical place for kids and grown-ups alike, where fantasy and fun come to life. Fazbear Entertainment is not responsible for damage to property or person. Upon discovering the damage or death of the third, a missing person report will be filed within 90 days or as soon as property and premises have been thoroughly cleaned and bleached and the carpets have been replaced. Blah, blah, blah. Now, that might sound bad, I know, but there's really nothing to worry about. Good. Uh, the animatronic characters here do get a bit quirky at night, but do I believe That's disgusting. No. If I were forced to sing those same stupid songs for 20 years and I never got a bath, I'd probably be a bit irritable at night, too. So remember, these characters hold a special place in the hearts of children. We need to show them a little respect, right? Yeah. Okay. So just be aware, the characters do tend to wander a bit. Uh, they're left in some kind of free roaming mode at night. Uh, something about their servos locking up they get turned off for too long. Uh, they used to be allowed to walk around during the day, too. But then there was the bite of 87. Was that the bite of 87? Yeah, it's amazing that the human body can live without the frontal lobe, you know? Uh, now, concerning your safety, the mm -hmm. only real risk to you as a night watchman here, if any, is the fact that these characters, uh, if they happen to see you after hours, probably won't recognize you as a person. They'll, they'll most likely see you as a metal endoskeleton without its costume on. Now, since that's against the rules here at Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, they'll probably try to forcefully stuff you inside a Freddy Fazbear suit. Um, now, that wouldn't be so bad if the suits themselves weren't filled with cross beams, wired, animatronic devices, mm -hmm. especially around the facial area. Mm -hmm. So you can imagine why having your head forcefully pressed inside one of those could cause a bit of discomfort and death. Yeah. Uh, the only parts of you that would like to see the line of me again would be your eyeballs and teeth. Pop Disgusting. Up the <laughs> yeah, they don't tell you these things when you sign up. But hey, first day should be a breeze. I'll chat with you tomorrow. Uh, check those cameras and remember to close the doors only if absolutely necessary. Gotta conserve power. Alright, good night. The only time I ever actually played this game before was on my Nintendo Switch, actually. Uh, Bonnie. Hi, Bonnie. Bonnie, scary.
Okay, so yeah, this is the OG Five Nights at Freddy's. A lot of things have been going on in the Five Nights at Freddy's community right now. There's like the movie that might come out in 2023. There's, of course, Security Breach getting patches and the DLC and stuff like that. So I thought this would be a perfect time to just go back to the OG, man. Ugh, come on. Chica. Bonnie is there. That is honestly terrifying. Since this is night one, I'm not going to check the cameras a lot more. I just really need to check the lights. Yeah, I still got to check the cameras. Terrified. Honestly terrified. I like horror games, I just don't play them a lot. I usually just watch people play them. But now I'm the one making content for people to watch. But since I have viewers, it's a little less scary. I don't know why, but it is. Especially since I have the TV playing on in the background too. I'm, I'm not as terrified. But I'm still genuinely filled with fear. We're doing pretty good for our first night. I could probably just shut the doors for the rest of the night and survive. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Oh, and still, that is scary, having cupcakes stare right into your soul. I don't like that. I don't like it at all. It's, it's, it's scary. Just keep the doors closed for the rest of the night and I'll be fine. I'll be fine. My brother has doubts in me. I'll probably be fine, right? Let's just hope those aren't my famous last words. Because if they are, oh crap. Come on, tick over to 5 a.m. already. I'm at 34% power. I, I, I could die right now, but... Well, not right now, but... Finally, 5 a.m., 30% left. I don't know if I'll make it. I probably will, right? Oh, come on. Let's just hope I didn't double down too much. gonna cover a lot of Five Nights at Freddy's fan games too because there's a lot of those things. A lot. Oh my god, come on! Tick! Please! Please! <laughs> Any second now? faster than the power counter. Day two. Uh, congrats. Uh, I, I won't talk 
quite as long this time since spring and his friends tend to become more active as the week progresses. Uh, it might be a good idea to see the cameras while I talk, just to make sure everyone's in their proper place, you know. Uh, oh, my brother's right making banging noises. Come off stage very often. Uh, Hermie becomes a lot more active in the dark, though. So, hey, well, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Uh, there are blind spots. They're more important the than the cameras, my dude. And those blind spots have to be right outside your doors. So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, you might only have a few seconds to react. I don't play a lot of point-and-click games, so this is weird. Plus, I'm used to playing this game with buttons because I have it on the Nintendo Switch. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the camera and remain off for a long period of time. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, Sorry I'm checking the lights so much. I'm just so paranoid. I'm... 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 I get scared easily. Very easily. Listening to the TV on in the background helps, though. It really does help. I'm honestly terrified. Because, I know, I played Fight and Freddy's on the Switch. I mentioned that, right? Well... I played it with cheats on because I'm a cheater. The console versions have cheats and I don't know why. Ah, Foxy! Night two, they're already much more active. Gone already, eh? That moment struck fear into me. I'm such a whim. Scares me to living hell. Chica's in the kitchen, I think. He's moving pretty slowly since I'm checking on him a lot. Only 3 a.m.?
hope this works. Work, work, work. Watching these games is easy. Playing them is just... Oh, I know I'm only on night two, but... Horror games. I like them, but I don't play them. Like most FNAF fans, they watch their favorite YouTubers play them. They don't, well, play them. But I know I'm gonna make it to the end of the night. Right? Let's just hope Freddy's music box is tweaked to be extra long when I run out of power. Come on. Come on. Come on. I want to do the outro. Please. 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 Spare me. Please. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, please. 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 Please! Uh-oh. Oh my god. Yes. 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 Yes! Okay, guys, that is going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed, and I definitely enjoyed it in... Oh, a different way than usual, because horror games are usually not what I do here on Operation Indie Gaming, but this game is what propelled me into indie gaming, so I gotta say, thanks Freddy, and thanks Scott Cawthon, wish you well.